Okay. Okay. So there's Martha. So are you using this picture as inspiration? Uh, yeah. It's, I'll usually get the pictures of her just for um, for the portrait. I actually had a couple of her descendants, family members, come into the studio and pose as well. Um, no one looks exactly like her, but between the two great granddaughters, I've gotten little features that look similar. Yeah, so that's been nice. But uh, mostly, she was a very she was barely five feet tall, and so usually you'll go life and a quarter size for mm -hmm. Sanctuary Hall. I decided to make her life and almost uh, almost life and a half, not quite. Oh, Because I didn't want her to be the, even though certain people thought, well, it, it'd be neater to have this diminutive lady that's really strong. And I'm like, you know, if it's going to say strong, you can't, all I can communicate with is visually. So I can't explain like she was small, but, mm. but strong. So I'm like, if I want to show a strong woman, it needs to be as big as the male statues too. So she's the same scale as the than the other statues in there. Interesting. And uh, so that was important to me to make her that uh, seven and a half feet tall. Uh, another thing that's kind of interesting that I'm trying to show her strength is uh, I'm actually overemphasizing her hands, not scale wise, but uh, muscular wise. Hmm. Like most instead of making it just a real soft, subtle hand like I usually do on a female figure, I am trying to make it just a little bit stronger. So even though it's relaxed and holding a book, I still want it to feel really sculptural and strong just because that's, that's another one of those visual elements that I have to work with to kind of communicate what type of person she was with visual elements. What book is she holding? Is it a specific book? No, I, I just, it can be, I, I, I was thinking of, maybe it's her journal, whatever, and I'm just like, the less I say is probably the better, because I want people to be able to relate. You know, they can, they can guess whatever it is. Is it a book about, you know, with laws and things? Because it's supposed to be her as a, um, her, for her term in, as in the state legislature as a mm -hmm. senator. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's her personal journal. Maybe it's, you know, who knows mm -hmm. what it is. And what about the inspiration for the dress? Is that from a specific photo? Or? Um, well, most of her dresses that she wore at the time were so busy they'd be distracting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted it to be um, fancy. So I, I worked with a uh, historical dressmaker that, that I just said, we've got, and one thing about Martha is she was very big in fashion. She wanted to be fashionable because she, she was also self-conscious of the fact that, you know, I'm from Utah, people are thinking we're backwards and things like that. She so when I go into the big cities, so like when she went through Chicago on her way out to um, med school, she had a dress made for her because she's like, I want the latest fashion, so I'm not just some country bumpkin. And uh, she always felt that way. So when she came back, she was um, very aware of the styles. Obviously, she's going to be a little more conservative in her style, like the sleep, like a, that was when women, if you look at John Singer Sargent paintings with a lot of um, women during that time, the short sleeves were in fashion, but she always wore long sleeves and she always had things done up to her neck. But it's still a very highly fashionable dress, so that's what we came up with. And we simplified some things and some of the stitching so it could be more about her because the sleeves really would be even poofier, but I didn't want them to be the same size as her head because that would detract from mm. her portrait. And I want everything to be about looking up at her, trying to make that connection with her. I love the flowers on the buttons. Those are wonderful. It's almost mm -hmm. like the sago lily or the rose that we're trying to highlight in the, in the campaign this year, oh. the, the special flowers that were the symbol of the suffrage movement. And it's just sort of a, a damask, is it a cummerbund here, or is it what, what do you call yeah, that? Yeah, it's of, a cummerbund. Yeah, and uh, on the on the model, the cummerbund doesn't have any decorative design, but on the big piece, it just was too plain. So I've kind of 
thrown some like a uh, paisley design. Mm -hmm. The actual cummerbunds, like right here, that we had made. Oh, so you actually have a. Yeah. Yeah, you have something you can look at the folds. Oh yeah, look at that. Did you have this made then, so yes. that you could do it? Yes. We had it made and, yeah. and sized and fitted with the model that I used. So. It was... So is this the is this the um, maquette over here? Yes. Okay. So, that's so how tall is this? This that's is the twenty-four inch. Twenty-four it's inch. Twenty-four inch. Okay. Figure. And what is what's the material here? What is this made out of? This is cast in resin. Okay. So the original clay is actually in the other room, and it, the clay gets damaged after you make a mold of it. So I poured this resin <laughs> cast, so I could have that okay. to reference. And what happens now to to this clay version? Okay. This will. I've got about another month to be finishing up on this and I'll need every second of that month to get it done to where I'm happy with it. But uh, then it will be, it'll be taken apart. Like the head comes off. I was noticing there's some seams in here. Yeah. So You're going to take your head off for us? Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. So the head comes off so I can work on it separately and focus on the portrait. And then just below the book, there's another seam I won't lift that off because we yes. only two people to lift it. And then it'll be sectioned off again and probably about 15 different molds, sections, okay. molded sections. And those will be sent to the foundry and then they'll start casting it in bronze. And then they'll weld those 15 sections together and We'll have a bronze that will head out to Washington. And you're using the the foundry here in Springville, is that right? Yeah, bare bronze will be bare casted. Bronze. So, and then hopefully we can make a couple other castings for other places. Yeah, I know we're trying to work with that that to the town in Wales where she was born. Yeah, Let's see if we can send one there. That would be exciting. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Well, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Molly and Carrie. Can you say you're welcome, Molly? <laughs> okay, Molly, what are you working on? Is this still your snake? Are you a Spider Man? Yes, Spider Man is the giant baby. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Molly.